Hello everybody! A very happy 9th of December to you all! Now I apologize that this video is up a little bit late today and that my voice may sound a little bit off. I think I'm coming down with a cold. I hope I didn't catch something from that horrible pie. Oh god, I can still taste it, it was disgusting. Anyway, as today, I am not feeling 100% myself and and I don't really want to do a video, like a full video, if I can't be on my top game. Today is going to be another history lesson, so I hope you're all ready because today I am going to teach you the history of the Christmas present. So I really hope you do enjoy it. Let the lesson commence! The tradition of gift giving is an old one, but it became associated with Christmas more recently. It is a relic of the pagan custom, namely the Winter Solace. Oh, the Winter Solace! I mentioned that in my Christmas tree video. The Winter Solace, which in Europe occurs in December. This was celebrated in ancient Rome with gift giving during the Saturnalia holiday. I don't know what that is which took place in December. As Christianity became increasingly widespread in the Roman lands, the custom of gift giving continued. Around the year 336 AD, the date of December the 25th appears to become established as the day as Jesus' birth, and the tradition of gift giving was reinterpreted and tied to the story of the biblical Magi giving gifts to the baby Jesus. That's pretty cool. Together with another story, that of Santa Claus, based on the historical figure Saint Nicholas, a 4th century Greek bishop and gift giver, it slowly became a part of Christmas celebrations. I did not know that. I'm learning so much today. Some early Christian rulers, however, interpreted this story as indications that it should be their subjects who should give gifts to their superiors. That's not very fair, is it? Everybody deserves a present at Christmas time. I mean, I'm Jewish and even I hope I get a present at Christmas. This changed around the turn of the millennium following the popularity of the good King Wenceslas story based on the life of another historical person claimed to be a gift giver, St. Wenceslas. Christmas gift giving to superiors became less common and around the time of the Protestant Reformation, customs of gift giving to children became increasingly widespread in Europe. The custom spread to the 19th United States around the 19th century this also coincided with the desire that some elites to reduce the rowdiness of adult Christmas celebrations, which in some places were tied to begging, as bands of young men, often rowdy, would wassail from house to house and demand handouts for the gentry. Hmm, I don't know what that means, but it sounds interesting. I might look that up later. Another related aspect was the growing desire by parents to keep their children at home away from the corrupting influence of the urban streets. Oh, where I used to live in the Bronx, the streets were terrible. We'd have people stood outside with baseball bats shouting, Hey, why don't you go back where you came from? And I said, uh, I was born here. So I am where I came from. And then one of them threw some dog poo at me. Another relativity recent, relatively recent change uh, concerned the time of Christmas gift giving. For many centuries, gift giving took place on December 6th, around St. Nicholas Day or in early January after New Year's Eve. The popularity of the custom grew after the positive reception of the 1823 poem, The Night Before Christmas and the 1843 novella, A Christmas Carol. Oh, A Christmas Carol, that was by Charles Dickens. I love that story. By the end of the 19th century, Christmas Eve replaced early December or January dates as the most common date for gift giving. And in Western culture, it is custom to open one single gift on the evening of Christmas Eve. 
How cool is that? Well, there we go, everybody. The history of the Christmas present. I enjoyed learning so much about the Christmas present today. Again, I would like to apologize that today's video isn't very good or might seem rushed. I just really don't feel myself today. I think I'm coming down <coughs> with a bit of a cold. It does not feel very nice and I don't want to make full videos if I'm not on my A-game. I'm very sorry and I hope this doesn't mean that you think I'm a, I, I'm a failure. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm so sorry, everybody. Much love to you all. Happy 9th of December. Bye.